Nope, Keanu Reeves didn't go out of his mind. He was just filming a scene from The Matrix Reloaded. Same for Hugo Weaving, who truly enjoyed speaking to his clones on the set. You love me? <laughs> Let's recall the funniest and craziest moments of making The Matrix Trilogy. Okay, here's a question. What could possibly go wrong while filming this short sequence? Looks pretty easy, right? Indeed it is. But for some reason, Keanu found it funny. Boom! I get it. Maybe Keanu was just nervous because he knew what was about to happen. Yep, that was the day they filmed one of the craziest shootout scenes ever made in movie history. Anyone would be nervous in Keanu's place, right? So don't be too tough on him. Especially because he had to face those insane explosions. That's dope! But aside from that, Keanu always seemed to be super excited about action scenes. Just look how passionate he was explaining some of his fighting moves during the promo interview. Keanu is unstoppable. Do you remember Neo's famous triple kick? It looked incredible in the movie. And on the set, the actor literally couldn't wait to film it. I'm sure I'll show up. Triple kick. Yeah. Forget the handstand. Ancient history. Be here now. He has such energy. Keanu was always excited to do action scenes. Even when he injured his neck, he continued training. Crazy, right? Talking about injuries, Keanu wasn't the only one who got hurt on the set. For example, his co-star Hugo Weaving had some serious problems with his hip. Of course, nothing is funny about that. Except for the way Keanu talked about it. It's funny because he had the hip and I had the neck. So it became how's the hip and how's the neck. The Wachowskis laughed over the injuries too. This is the dojo. Oh, it's a hospital. <laughs> Talk about dark humor. Unlike Keanu, Hugo couldn't continue training with his injury. He even had to have surgery so he could walk properly again. Again, what is funny about that? Actually, nothing, except for how Hugo handled it. Like, the fact that he watched his hip surgery and enjoyed it is mind-blowing. No, it was no pain at all. Was that general? Uh, was no, that it was spinal, local? spinal. So, spinal, okay. So I watched the whole thing. You saw the... Yeah, I watched the operation. Jeez, he seemed to be really excited about that. Oh, that, that man is crazy. Oh. <laughs> you can't feel a thing. It's oh, like okay. someone just doing this thing to this leg. It's not part it's of not you. yours. They were lifting my leg up and I was going, that's my leg, but I can't feel it. <laughs> what a maniac. Despite how cold Agent Smith is as a character, in real life, Hugo is nothing like him. He's actually a very emotional, kind, and funny man. Oh, no. <laughs> One of the Matrix scenes that he enjoyed doing most was the battle between Neo and hundreds of Agent Smith copies. Can you imagine 50 extras wearing masks with their face on? I imagine it was both creepy and exciting. But for Hugo, it was always about having fun. You love me? <laughs> In case you don't know what the actor went through to make this scene happen, here's a short behind the scenes summary. There are three different models. There's grumpy, there's happy, and there's neutral. And they made more neutrals than they made grumpies and happies. Yep, they had to take three different impressions of Weaving's head. And while to most of us, this procedure may look super creepy, Hugo handled it like a true professional. Don't know how he did that and still managed to find the production process so funny. Like, seriously, is there anything in the world that can frustrate Mr. Weaving? Actually, yes. Believe it or not, but it was kind of tough for the actor to see his clone's haircuts. Well, I realized how far my hair's receded. It's so normally I look at myself in the mirror and I think, eh, hair's all right. But here I'm looking at everyone from this side and I go, ah! <laughs> look how far it's gone. Wow, would you be able to handle that? Lawrence Fishburne had his own weird struggles on the set, too. Hey, what's happening? 
His biggest struggle could be called the Sneeze Challenge. Yep, poor Lauren sneezed a lot while filming this scene. The funny thing is that, in the movie, Morpheus got in trouble because of Cypher sneezes, while in reality, it was Lawrence who was in a bad relationship with Dust. There were a few uh, trouble spots. I have allergies, and it was in a warehouse, and it was really dusty. They kept putting the power dust on it, that white stuff that they covered me with, so I was sneezing uncontrollably. Poor man. I love how Lauren shakes some dust from Hugo's super dirty jacket. Sure, looks much better now, Mr. Fishburne. But again, it was all about fun for the actors. Dirty, you know, dirty, dirty fire. <laughs> Filming the first Matrix was truly raw. Like, the cast went through four months of hard kung fu training and sustained a lot of injuries. On good days of training, we get the steam. But working on the Matrix Reloaded was even harder. How much time did it take you to prepare, Mr. Fishburne? December, January, February, March, April, May, June. <laughs> Eight months Eight of training. Which is insane, right? I also know that there were some serious injuries on set. So the question is, why did the actors agree to participate in the sequels? Like, okay, there were some action scene maniacs in the cast. And there's some crazy action. <laughs> But what about the rest of the actors and actresses who weren't as fanatic as Keanu? Why did they agree to come back to this crazy production? The answer is simple. All of them love the Wachowskis and fully trusted their artistic vision. You know, they're from Chicago, you know? They wear shorts, they wear baseball hats, they, they watch basketball games, they love movies, they love, you know, they get so excited. There's nothing greater than doing a scene for them and, them get, and for them to get excited. Wow, she sounds so happy to work with them. And I must say, it seems like the crew had a great creative spirit out there. One day, hey! One day I will Sam. no longer just be a Sam. computer nerd. Sam. I will be a superhero. They work very well together. They've got a wonderful sense of humor. So you do get a you do get a, a dialogue happening that is normally just within the one director's head. So it's normally one director talking to themselves working out a problem and then expressing their solution to that problem. The directors knew everything about their movies, and they had an answer for every question the cast had on the set. Yeah, the guns supposed to be at each other's... What are we doing? Directors! Yes! <laughs> so, another tough fact about working with the Wachowskis is that they never allow anyone to improvise. Like, seriously, there were hardly any exceptions during the making of the Matrix trilogy. Although, here's a famous one. Do you remember the scene where Neo meets the Matrix architect? In the room they are talking in, there are hundreds of monitors showing Neo's possible reactions. And some of his reactions were, let's say, quite unrestrained. So, these monitor sequences were probably the only things improvised in the whole trilogy. Which is excellent. Yeah, Keanu got lucky. And we got lucky with the behind-the-scenes footage of him swearing and improvising. Turn down your headphones, guys, because this is going to be loud. <laughs> Knowing that he could say whatever he wanted kind of pushed Keanu to go all in with his improvisation. I can say whatever! You can't control me! You can't control me! You're dead! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna dead! Wow! That's some temper! It's cool to see how the Wachowskis followed Keanu's lead in this mad game. I'll smash this place to bits! See the whole place? Like, I'll smash this place to bits! I'll smash this place to bits! I'll smash this place to fucking bits! I'll smash this place to fucking bits! and Keanu knew how lucky he was to have a chance to improvise, and he truly appreciated it. One of the only times you'll ever get to improv for Wachowskis. I know, <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. Did you see how happy the Keanu the actor got? Oh, hell yes, we saw that. Great job, Keanu. If you're a fan of funny onset moments and bloopers, then check out these videos too. Thanks for watching, and take care, guys. <laughs>